Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Jet Smart Filters tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily combine Jet Smart Filters with ACF fields like this. I recently worked on a project that required the use of ACF fields, and I needed a way to use Jet Smart Filters with that data. The good news is Jet Smart Filters has really good compatibility with ACF fields. There's only a handful of fields that you won't be able to use, and in this article right here, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. It states that you can't use checkbox, the date picker, or the date time picker as your ACF fields and make it work with Jet Smart filters. So what I recommend is instead of using a checkbox, you can convert that over into something like this, like a radio filter, and you can just have it where the user can just choose one option and then it will filter out. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a radio filter and a select filter inside JetSmart filters and have this data being pulled from ACF. So let's just jump into the back end and show you how everything is set up. The first set of data is going to be right here, these radio buttons. So what I just called this was type of service. So if you jump over into ACF, you can see right here, I just have um, the type is radio button. I just called it service type. and all we need to worry about is just grabbing the field name right here. So what I recommend is just copying this into your clipboard and then we could jump into JetSmart filters and set everything up. So just copy that and then we can paste it into the next section. And here we are in JetSmart filters and I just created this one called ACF service type. So of course you're just gonna click add new. And if you jump into here, I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So we just type in your filter name uh, you're going to want to make sure that this matches up your ACF field. So in that case, it was a uh, radio. So you just want to choose radio. Underneath here, you're going to choose custom fields. And then you can have this uh, option right here, which is pretty nice, the ability to deselect radio buttons. So I like that feature. I turn that on. And that custom field that you have in your clipboard, just paste that in right here. And then you can click this button, get choice from form field. And then what that's going to do is open up this right here. So you can choose between jet engine and ACF. So of course, in this tutorial, we're going to choose ACF and then underneath right here, underneath your query variable, you're just going to paste that back into here, that same field type from up here and just put equals. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now you just hit update and let me jump into the Elementor page and show you how everything is set up. And here we are on the Elementor page. And as you can see, this is just using the header. And what I did is you just type in radio. So in your JetSmart filters, you have all of your different filters within the widgets. You just click and drag that in. And I chose the one we just called. I just called it ACF service uh, type. And I'm tying this into just our standard Elementor Pro post widget. So that's all this is right here. And of course, underneath your query, you're gonna wanna make sure that this says jet smart filters and if you aren't familiar with how this works is you see right here where it says set jet smart filters into your query id you need to tell the filter you know what widget it it is that it's going to be tied to so in this case just call this jet smart filters tag it over here and you should be good to go so when you put that in you're going to see uh, these are the acf fields and now on the front end of the website if a user selects one of these let me turn this one off if a user selects one of these it's gonna show only the posts that are tagged you know, with that uh, ACF field. And to do a select filter, it's basically the same option. So inside my ACF right here, I have the type is select, and you just wanna go ahead and copy this uh, field name into your clipboard. Same thing, just jump over into JetSmart filters. And I have this one right here just called ACF service budget. Uh, I just have the filter type is select and you just make it look just like this. So we got custom fields, paste in your custom field right here. You're going to want to make sure you click this on because this is going to enable ACF and then just paste it in right down here. Same thing, just hit equals and hit update. And if we jump into the Elementor page, very similar. I just brought in the select filter, selected the filter, uh, made sure it works with the Elementor Pro post. And that's it. So now the user is going to be able to select both of these. They can do uh, the radio and the select. So one thing I noticed is if you start to use these custom fields like this, um, Elementor is not going to show this by default. So I do have another uh, video that I made that showed you how to you know, have this come up with the no results because you might get a JavaScript error. So what I recommend is checking out this video right here where it shows when the query is empty, have it show something. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below so you can play this. And then this is your function code right here. 
And that's it for this JetSmart filters tutorial. Make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.